There is very little doubt that Elon Musk loves his work, with him being a famously accomplished workaholic and all. Elon has displayed time and time again his confidence in the companies he's founded and the employees he's hired to help run them. They did catapult him to the position of the richest man in the world after all. I can't help but wonder, and I'm sure you can too, how would it feel to work for THE Elon Musk, driving humanity forward at companies like Tesla or SpaceX? Fortunately, we won't need to wonder much longer. Not only are there more than enough employees ready to spill the deets about working for Elon, I'm about to give you the inside scoop on the daily life of Elon Musk's employees. Before we can even talk about what it's like working for the man, we have to appreciate the fact that Elon Musk has a lot of employees. How could he not? He's a renowned entrepreneur after all. He co-founded PayPal, Tesla, Neuralink, SpaceX, and The Boring Company. Elon is without a doubt one of the techno kings of the modern era, and he's had that crown for quite some time now. In 1995, Elon launched Zip2, a startup that delivered online newspapers, maps, and business directories. By 1999, Zip2 was purchased by Compaq for a whopping $307 million. Musk then launched an online financial services firm, X.com, which later became PayPal. And there's no way you don't know what PayPal is. eBay had the foresight to appreciate Musk's creation and bought it for $1.5 billion dollars, and this was back in 2002. Musk has a bit of foresight himself. For a while, he was quite intrigued by the potential of electric vehicles, and in 2004, he made the incredibly wise decision to become one of the key backers of Tesla. You know Tesla, the incredibly popular electric car company. Tesla wasn't the most popular electric car company back in the day. All that changed rather quickly when Musk joined the team. Now, some of us can even recite every single Tesla model out there by heart. Not to brag or anything. Elon's drive for perfection has led to a very unique and effective work culture for his employees. If he finds a tiny flaw in what he creates, he will have the entire thing replaced, regardless of the cost or reduction in efficiency. According to the manufacturing engineers that work for Musk, sometimes he can carry his desire for perfection a little too far, inflating production costs a bit more than you might expect. However though, the quality of the products they produce is a testament to Musk's drive to make the greatest product possible. And you know this drive for perfection trickles down to all his employees. You're not about to show up to work and provide substandard results. Commitment to providing their consumers with the absolute finest quality possible is part of the job description. When asked, Elon Musk is more than happy to share his thoughts on what makes an effective workplace. He once talked about what it takes to attract and retain the greatest staff. Well, according to Elon, the most important thing is your incentive system. The trick is to reward innovation while penalizing a lack of it. When checking out an applicant's resume, his interest isn't in what expensive Ivy League school they went to or how prestigious their degree is. Instead, Musk looks for someone who will add to the team dynamic through creativity. Apparently, Musk searches for four particular things when looking to add someone to his team. A strong work ethic, a flair for making things, common sense, and trustworthiness. Without these, he's not interested in having you. And honestly, who can blame him? Before you submit that application to Tesla, you'd probably like to know how exactly this translates into his employer-employee relationship, right? Well, many former employees would say the relationship can be pretty rough at times. Elon works long hours, sometimes around the clock, and expects his workers to do the same. He famously slept on the floor of his Tesla Gigafactory one year when there were production issues with the Model 3. Musk even claims that he doesn't have an office desk and instead spends his time floating about to whatever department needs him. So how do Musk's employees feel about this? Well, a few of them have talked about their time working for him. Former SpaceX employee Josh Bame came out to detail the working circumstances he faced. Bame stated that the drive and pressure of working in SpaceX led to the creation of a popular employee motto that floated around, you are your own slave driver. He clarified that Elon Musk never told them that they had to work 50 to 60 hours per week, but when the boss is doing it, you can't help but feel like you have to keep up. Bame further said that he was given more responsibility and freedom than at any other company he had ever worked for, which turned out to be an invaluable experience for running his own startup company after he left in 2019. A former salesperson who worked for Elon spoke about the difficulty in working for a newer company. One blip along the production line and you've just made a huge mistake, the exact opposite of what you want to be making. If there's anyone's word you should take on this matter, it's Hans Koenigsmann's. He was SpaceX's former vice president. He was hired in 
2002, during SpaceX's inaugural year, and was the seventh person hired at the company, and has worked on numerous Starlink launches. Needless to say, he knows a lot about the company's inner workings, as well as Musk's leadership style. According to Koenigsman, Musk has a very high bar for each person who works for him, a bar that might be difficult to surmount. Being the vice president, Koenigsman also had to deal with just how influential Musk is. Having the power to bend trends and prices with just one tweet led to a couple of funny situations. Like in 2020, when he tweeted, Tesla's stock price is too high, and Tesla share prices fell nearly 12% in the first half hour of the tweet. That must have been a really fun day at work. Nonetheless, Koenigsman says that he loved the work that he did, and that leaving the company was bittersweet. He told Business Insider that he never went to work and thought, I don't want to do that work, and that he was always happy to be there. So what are Musk's employees expected to face? Well, according to former SpaceX employee Jim Cantrell, Musk has a lot of ambition and is a unique character. He's very persuasive and effective in getting people to see the bigger picture and pushing his staff to share his ambition for not only the companies, but the whole of humanity. Expect some tall hurdles to surmount for one. Musk apparently likes to set stretch goals for his employees, which are goals that appear unattainable or even impossible at first glance. While this may appear to be a trap at first, it has actually worked in some business circles. That's because employees are forced to come up with innovative solutions toward achieving those goals, and even if they don't, they still wind up close in the end, way ahead of where they began. Also, if you have access to him, feedback is welcome as well. Musk has remarked that as a leader, he is not frightened of feedback, implying that he can be both the receiver and the giver as long as there is a strong feedback loop. That's become a part of his company culture. Employees and bosses alike are continuously commenting on their work, which Musk considers to be a key to success. Trust me, Musk is fully aware of how demanding he can be. He once famously claimed on Twitter that no one has changed the world working 40 hours a week. And finally, bring a big bag of creativity. If you can think outside the box better than Elon, even better, because that's exactly what he expects from his employees. Mitchell Stevens, a former senior manufacturing engineer who worked at Tesla from 2000 2010 to 2012 stated just how often Musk thought outside the box. Recalling the first time he ever met Musk, he asked Mitchell and a group of his co-workers what they saw when they looked at a can of soda. Musk replied that you could see a spaceship, if you multiplied the size of the soda can a bit of course. Working for Elon Musk has brought a substantial bit of improvement and innovation. And no, I'm not just talking about inside his companies, although some of his staff have commented on how he motivates them to do better. A former senior level employee stated that after working for Musk, he felt tempted ten times smarter than when he initially joined. Nah, the kind of achievements his employees routinely strive for are the little things. You know, stuff that'll help humanity continue to exist as a species. Kinda like how humankind must evolve into a multi-planet species. In facing that problem, Elon Musk was concerned with the high cost of rockets. So he founded Space Exploration Technologies, SpaceX, in 2002. It's an aerospace manufacturer, supplier of space transportation services, and communications organization. Part of his goals include cutting space transportation costs and colonizing Mars. SpaceX employees work hard every single day to make that dream a reality. Thanks to them, SpaceX was the first private company to successfully launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft, the first private company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station, and the first reuse of an orbital rocket. There was also the time SpaceX successfully launched a Tesla Roadster on the debut flight of the world's most powerful operational rocket, Falcon Heavy. Now that definitely must have been a very fun day at the office. And that's just a fraction of the things Elon Musk's employees are expected to achieve. Under his guidance, they developed a satellite internet constellation named Starlink to provide commercial internet service. And by January 2020, the Starlink constellation became the largest satellite constellation ever launched, with much more to come. Suffice it to say that a day at the office with Elon Musk at the helm could either be a long day of work or downright revolutionary. Brian Bjeld, Vice President of Human Resources, put it perfectly when he said, I truly believe Musk embraces what leadership is, and part of being a leader is working for your people. We are not all here to serve Elon Musk and his needs. Rather, he's there to serve ours. It's a breath of fresh air to have a leader who sincerely cares. It's not about the bottom line or making a dollar to him. It's about the mission. So what do you think it's like working for Elon Musk? And are you going to polish up that resume and finally apply to work for him? If you enjoyed this video, you should click on a video on the screen. It'll be pretty good too. See you there.